I hear a lot of people on YouTube and in message boards lamenting how intimidating and overwhelming the interface is in DaVinci Resolve, especially if they're coming over from Final Cut Pro. Obviously, there's going to be a learning curve to any new software, especially one as deep and complex as Resolve. One crucial aspect of Resolve, at least in my opinion, is the integration of the middle mouse button and scroll wheel. If you're coming from Final Cut Pro and you are an Apple mouse aficionado for some reason, I highly, highly encourage you to toss that piece of in the trash and get a mouse with a middle mouse button and scroll wheel. It doesn't have to be fancy and expensive like this Logitech MX Master 3S, although this is a great option, any old mouse will do. In this video, I'm gonna cover all of the ways that I know to use the middle mouse button and scroll wheel in Resolve. And I'm sure there's more, so if you know some good ones, please leave them in the comments. I've got tips for the edit page and the color page and one for Fusion, but there is a lot of overlap, so once you kind of get the hang of the basics, you should be able to adapt it to wherever you are in Resolve. The first is zooming in and out of your timeline. Holding down the Option key or Alt on Windows and scrolling will zoom in and out of your timeline. By default, it zooms wherever your playhead is, but if you come up to the View Options, uh, you can set it to zoom around the mouse pointer if you prefer. And now it's gonna zoom wherever your cursor is. So each one of those would be beneficial in certain use cases. So now that you know where they are, you can switch around as needed. The next one is how to scroll your timeline. So you can obviously click and drag this little bar on the bottom to scroll around. Alternatively, if you press down on the middle mouse button, you can drag your mouse left and right to scroll your timeline. Another option is holding down the command key or the control key on Windows and scrolling up and down on the middle mouse button. Up here in the viewer, you can actually zoom in and out by just scrolling. And if you click and hold that middle mouse button, once you're zoomed in, you can pan around the viewer. You can do that in the source viewer and in the timeline viewer. If you didn't know, you can reset that view by hitting the Z key as long as you are selected on the viewer. Hitting the Z key, the Z key <laughs> should reset your view. If you hold down the Shift key and scroll, you can expand the width of all of the tracks. You can do that to the video tracks and the audio tracks. In order to do the video tracks, you have to be above this little line which separates the video and audio layers, and that will expand all the video tracks. And then if you're below that line, it will expand the audio tracks. Over in the color page, you can zoom in on the viewer the same way using the scroll wheel and then clicking and holding down on the middle mouse button, you can pan around and then hitting the Z key will reset the view. Over here in your node graph, you can also pan up and down. If you've got tons and tons of nodes that don't all fit in or you just need to make more room, scrolling the wheel will move all of your nodes up and down. Clicking and dragging the middle mouse button, you can move all of your nodes around. Holding down option and scrolling will make those node thumbnails bigger or smaller. If you have your clips showing, you can scroll across all of the clips in your timeline using the scroll wheel. Alternatively, you can click and drag the middle mouse button to move around to all of the different clips. Probably the coolest thing that you can do in the color page with the middle mouse button is copy a grade from one clip to another or from one clip to multiple clips. Let's say I want to copy this pretty horrendous color grade to another clip. So what I wanna do is click on the clip that I want to copy the grade to, and then I'm gonna middle mouse click on the clip that I wanna copy the grade from. <laughs> I love the face that I'm making. So that copied the grade from this clip of the dog to this clip of me making a funny face. You can do that to multiple clips. You just have to shift click or control click to highlight multiples. And then you just middle mouse click on the clip that you wanna copy the grade from. It's gonna ask you if you wanna replace existing grades. You hit replace and that's gonna copy the grade to all of the clips that you have highlighted. If you have any stills or power grades, you can also copy the grades from a still and power grade exactly the same way. So I'm gonna right click on this image and hit grab still, and then I'm gonna open up my gallery viewer, 
and then I'm gonna come to a clip that doesn't have a grade on it. And then I'm gonna middle mouse click on this still, and now it copied that grade from here to here. I'm not gonna spend much time on the Fusion page, but I just wanna show you one thing that's not the same as it is in the color page and the edit page. If you come up to your viewer and you scroll, it's obviously not gonna zoom in and out, it just pans up and down. In order to zoom in the Fusion page, you just have to hold down Command or Control, and then you can scroll in and out to zoom. When you are zoomed in, you can click and drag the middle mouse button to move around the viewer that's zoomed in. Also, <laughs> the Z key apparently does not reset the viewer in the Fusion page. It attempts to do something different. So don't hit the Z key or else you'll blow up your computer. I hope that was helpful. Those were just some quick tips of how to utilize a middle mouse button and scroll wheel if you are new to DaVinci Resolve. If you integrate these functions into your Resolve workflow early in your journey, it will make your transition into the wonderful world of Resolve easier and fun-er.